Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Listen, it's sunny out today. I was out. I got to get outside, and my I'm sitting outside in my new vehicle. Well, it's not a new vehicle; it's an old vehicle, but it's new to me. <laughs> anyway, I can't get something. I don't understand something here. I'm looking right at this camera on this phone, but it looks like I'm looking over someplace else. But I'm looking right at the camera. I don't get that. I don't understand why. What's going on with that? It looks like I'm looking over sideways someplace, but I'm looking right at the camera. I'm looking right at the camera on this thing. I don't understand that. Uh, anyway, it's a nice sunny day out today. I want to talk to you guys. You know what? We're entering into the recovery thing that I told you guys about. Spring is here, guys. It's, a, it's a fir- one of the first nice days we've had here where the wind isn't blowing, the rain isn't howling, there's not sleet coming down, not snow coming down, and the sun's actually out and it's actually above freezing. I can't believe it. <laughs> I've been stuck so long in winter time, winter mode, that I don't know what's happening. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I think I'll go to town this afternoon and see you get some parts for my new rig I'm trying to build. Anyway. We're entering into this recovery phase of the whole operation. And, you know, uh, this recovery is not going to be a super strong recovery. You know, like like we're not going to go instantly back to 2019 type of of an environment. That ain't going to happen. But what we are doing is we're making a new normal. And for ourselves... Humanity is a tremendously, uh, what's the word I would look for? Uh, You can't keep us down, you know? And this is the way. Always new new shouts, new sprouts will arise from the ground, you know? Yeah, forest fire goes through the forest, burns down everything. And then then first thing you know, a few weeks later, new little shoots are coming up everywhere, you know? And that's the way with humanity. It's hard to keep humanity down. But here's the thing. This speeding up that's happening with this little bit of a recovery that we're going into, a lot of it's being fueled by money that's just being created willy-nilly off of a printing press. Let's put it that way, you know. And we're going to start to see the first parts of what I would call the acceleration phase leading toward a hyperinflation. And at first, you know, it's going to be barely noticeable. So a lot of people aren't going to see it for what it actually is. But as it progresses into, the, into this fall and into this winter, it actually stimulates the economy. All this new money floating around everywhere, you know, and people buying things and the banks start to lend again, you know, and things start to return to normal. This is going... You do not get a hyperinflation. Let me explain it to you this way. You do not get a hyperinflation from a bad economy, an economy that's going downhill and sinking. A hyperinflation comes when the economy starts to pick up and people start to spend. And we've been through all that part already of the deflating and everything everything going down and everybody not spending and the people losing their jobs and people not, uh, people staying home and everything. We've been through all that. Now we're coming into springtime here. The, the blue sky's out here today. <laughs> blue sky, springtime we're coming into. And people are going to want to get out there. And they're going to want to open up their, open up their uh, if they've been holding back on their spending, it's going to start to increase and everything. And there's going to be a, a, a lack of goods. And this whole thing with the ship getting caught in the Suez Canal is just going to make it harder to get things. Harder to get goods, more out of inventory and everything like that. At the same time, spending's going to increase like crazy. We're going to actually see this summer prices starting to increase big time, moving into fall, and the next year we're going to start to see the real seeds of a hyperinflation start to come. Are you ready for it? Because when the real hyperinflation hits, it's going to be massive, you know, and uh, you're go- that's when you start to see the prices go up daily on everything, you know. And then that increases faster and faster and faster. And there's no stopping it. Once it really gets underway and confidence starts to be lost in the currency because people are seeing prices go up too fast. And they say, well, I'm going to buy it. 
I'm just going to buy it because I need a new refrigerator, right? And uh, prices are going up so fast on refrigerators and inventory is down and they got one left at whatever company, you know, uh, they go to. They got one left of that model and I'm buying it. They pick up the phone, buy it. And this is going to happen to be a repeated millions of people all over and and uh you know this is it boys this is uh we're on the we've walked all the way out to the end of the uh, uh the end of this big uh, giant uh uh it's like mr bean when he jumped off of the diving board into the big swimming pool you know and he slowly walks out to the end of the swimming pool you finally uh, to the end of the diving board i should say you finally you get to the end of the diving board, and it takes a long time. You know, it's taken a long time for us to get here. But we're out to the end of the diving board now, and this is where we really, the, the you jump off the diving board and you hit the water, and that's the hyperinflation. And there's no place left for them to kick the can because kicking the can is what's led us here. And now we've hit the time when we're going to start to see the inflation really come. So prepare for it. And the best thing is to, is to, to not save your money in the bank. If you need something, right now, I'm telling you guys, you're not going to get a cheaper price on it. Especially if you get it on sale and they still have some in stock or whatever it is you need. Because you might pay double by the end of this summer. Say you got something that's breaking on you, it's, and you're working with it. You know, maybe I don't know what it might be. Maybe it's your refrigerator, and and you've been working with it. It's old and it needs repairs and everything else, and it's just breaking down. And you, maybe it's an old television or something. You have to ha beat it with your fist to get it to operate. And you've been looking at the new ones out there. You know, thinking, oh, I should have a new one. Well, you're gonna find that. You're going to have to buy it later down the road, and you're going to pay double what you'd pay right now if you wait six months. That's what the acceleration phase is all about. Everything's going to go up in price in dollars. Uh, I'm expecting probably by the end of this year, before the end of this year, I'm expecting gold and silver is going to break free, and it's going to be a massive move up on gold and silver when it finally does break free of this. Thank you guys for listening to my show. Like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.